Hey there! Most of us love a good sandwich. I'm actually making one for myself right now. But it's not just any sandwich. This one is healthy. They are possible, you know. Of course, you'd have to cut down a little on the carbs. And when it comes to a choice of bread, you'll have to opt for whole grain or brown. In this video, we'll tell you what a healthy sandwich should look like. First of all, what is a healthy sandwich? A healthy sandwich consists of necessary nutrients. It also contains lesser amounts of fats and carbohydrates. Of course, in order to achieve this, a few sacrifices are in order. For example, that processed meat you love so much would have to be tossed aside. The same goes for mayonnaise and extra cheese. Let's talk about what you can put in. Number 1. Go Green When it comes to healthy sandwiches, vegetables are your best friends. From lettuce to cucumber to broccoli, veggies add nutritional value to your lunch. For instance, broccoli is rich in vitamin C and K. Vitamin C is essential for absorption of iron, development of bones, muscles, and tissues. It's also necessary for the production of collagen that helps to keep your skin healthy. On the other hand, vitamin K is responsible for regulating blood calcium levels and plays a big role in bone metabolism. Similarly, lettuce contains potassium. This helps to maintain a healthy blood pressure. Meanwhile, cucumber has magnesium that fights insulin resistance and combats depression. So going green could actually work in our favor. Like what you see so far? Click subscribe and ring that notification bell in order to stay updated with our latest content. Number 2. Add more fruits You might be wondering how fruits could be any good on a sandwich. Well, you need to reconsider because apples, watermelons, and honeydew are delicious toppings. Just like vegetables, they can give a boost to that nutritional value. Vitamin A is also known to reduce the risk of acne scars. Apples are rich in potassium and dietary fiber as well. Dietary fiber aids in the digestion process by slowing down the food in your gut. Honeydew is also a well-known vitamin C source, so maybe you can use these fruits instead of mayo, onions, and extra cheese. All right, we've made some vegan viewers very happy right about now, but it's time to do some carnivore service. Number 3. Switch the processed meat with grilled Processed meat is more versatile. That's why it's used almost everywhere. Sadly, it comes with a lot of problems. They have more sodium and less protein than regular meat. They could upset your blood pressure levels. On top of that, processed meat also contains more calories and can spike your cholesterol levels. That doesn't sound too good for your heart. Do you want to keep it healthy? Ditch that processed meat and opt for grilled instead. How is it any different? When you grill or cook fresh meat, it doesn't lose any of its nutrients. The meat still retains vitamin B6, protein, magnesium, and potassium. What's more, it has less sodium when it's fresh. After grilling, it has a slightly higher sodium content, but is still lower than processed meat. So opting for grilled meat instead of processed is a wise choice. Number 4. Try poached eggs or egg whites Every sandwich deserves a creamy and delicious center. You can achieve that with either poached eggs or whites. While mayo and mustard may feel like better choices, eggs actually do a better job. Eggs have protein, calcium, and vitamin B12. That reminds me, we did a video on vitamin B12 deficiency. If you want to know more about it, feel free to check it out. A sandwich with vegetables, grilled chicken, and eggs is more nutritious than one with processed chicken, mustard, or any type of spice. So it's not like you don't have the alternative. You do, you just need to choose wisely. Number 5. Choose a better bread A sandwich isn't a sandwich without bread. This is why you need to be careful of the type you pick. White bread is a little too high in fat and calories to be consumed with meat and eggs, or for that matter, vegetables. Opt for one of the whole grain breads instead. Whole grain bread usually has more dietary fiber. Instead of that, let me give you another option. I understand that it always helps to have your options open, so if you want, you can try brown bread. It also has a lot of fiber. More importantly, it's very rich in nutrients like iron and potassium. Iron's important for your body as it helps to retain the vital functions of your body. By now, you may have become an expert when it comes to making a healthy sandwich, yet you can never be too careful. Here are a few tips. Number 1. Avoid overly grilled sandwiches Grilled meat in a sandwich is fine, but an overgrilled sandwich is not okay at all. Imagine eating something overcooked. Similarly, it's not healthy to eat a sandwich that's been grilled to the point it's almost roasted. We aren't saying they don't taste good, but that type of sandwich doesn't have as much nutritional value, mainly because most of its nutrition has been grilled out of it. Here's something else you can do. You can have the bread toasted just before preparing the sandwich. 
It'll help retain the bread's fiber content. More importantly, it won't take the nutrition out of the other ingredients. Number 2. Experiment with different combinations You can be very creative with the combos you pick and choose for this. You just need to make sure they work with each other. More importantly, they need to add nutritional value, otherwise it won't be healthy. For example, lettuce usually goes well with eggs and grilled chicken. Broccoli may not taste the same if you're adding chicken into the mix. Similarly, I wouldn't suggest adding eggs and fruits at the same time. Try out things and see what works for you. If you're into spice, maybe you can add chili peppers instead of spicy ketchup. Number 3. Avoid adding cheese It's not a good idea to add cheese on a sandwich that already has grilled meat and eggs. You might end up having a lot more calories than you're capable of burning. On top of that, there's that cholesterol problem you need to be aware of. Therefore, it would be better to skip the cheese. If you feel that you couldn't go on without cheese, perhaps it would be better to stick to low fat. This way you wouldn't have to deal with spikes in blood pressure or cholesterol. Another option you can try is adding the cheese that comes from plant-based milk. Vegan cheese is nutritious without all the problematic ingredients. What is your favorite kind of sandwich? Are you willing to try making a healthier sandwich? Let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.